Why my boyfriend ignored my birthday gift the last straw in our relationship. My birthday is coming up in a few months and three days ago, I found out what my birthday present was which are tickets to a cruise. His sister spilled the news thinking I would be excited and am not. We live together and I found the gift and know it's for me, I sound so ungrateful but I'm not. This gift just proves to me that things will never change. The first thing is this gift isn't for me, I do not like cruises, because I get really bad seasickness and nothing I do helps. I also told him what I wanted to do for my birthday which was go to a Ren Faire festival on my birthday. I have already taken the week off from work for it in preparation to go this fair. I have purchased tickets and am saving month to month so that I have spending money without it affecting finances at home. Why would he book tickets the same time as the time I took off to go to this festival? Also this cruise wasn't cheap at all so it's basically wasted money because I'm not going. I'm so annoyed. I've told him time and time again that I don't feel like he listens to me, that I feel like he just gets me things by thinking about what's best for him or what he would like. It's not only gifts. He makes decisions based on what he thinks is best, and I just can't deal with it anymore. I love him but I'm so done and before anyone says I didn't talk to him or to talk to him about this, I have repeatedly. This has been a recurring conversation in our 2.5-year relationship. The next thing to do is talk this out and end things. Edit. I appreciate the comments and concern about cheating, but I know the gift is for me, because it was in really nice packaging that said, Happy Birthday, my name, and the bag had like cruise shippery. Lated items and possible excursions. The effort he went to, it made me sad, because that means he could have put in a little effort about the things I like. If he had even just gotten me a ticket for the Renfair Festival or accessories from online, or even a piece of an outfit that had to do with Renfair, it would have made my entire month. It would have meant that he listened and got me something that interested me I'm talking to him tonight, and I'm not even annoyed anymore. I feel nothing about this. Comments. Girl with dragon tattoo. Well this is kind of the risk of these behaviors, they will continue until you opt out. It's evident this gift is for him, and more about what he feels like doing. Because on what planet would you gift someone they won't be able to enjoy? That's the thing about other people. They'll encourage keeping the peace, not taking into account how it affects you. As long as everyone else experiences as little discomfort as possible. I would not theme my diabetic family members party, Candyland, and exclusively serve candy, soda, and alcohol. I would be putting them in a situation to be thankful, even though it's something they cannot enjoy or be ungrateful, when in reality, putting them in the situation at all, was a selfish decision. Girl with dragon tattoo being Lee. 100% I bet after she breaks up with him, he'll go around telling everyone all the great things he did for her, however ungrateful she was about his thoughtful gift. Probably an asshole nine. I think the fact that he knows you have plans for the day of your birthday, and has deliberately double booked you after the fact, is a much bigger red flag than the obviously shitty present. Unta, freed and off darkness. For real. I had an ex kind of like this, and he got me tickets to something I actually wanted to do, but on the same night as my favorite band was playing in my city. I was able to exchange the tickets for the other thing to be a different night, but I thought it was so off, putting that I talked about how excited I was about this concert for weeks, and he still got me a gift that would make it so I couldn't go to this concert I was so excited about. It made me realize he either didn't listen to me, or was just thoughtless. Decrying shame. I don't think you are being unreasonable at all. I would be pissed if a partner got me tickets to something that made me sick. Once or twice I might overlook it, but with this being an ongoing thing, I would definitely be feeling the same way. Update three days later. The day I wrote my post is the day I ended things with my ex. When he came home, I basically said I found the tickets for the cruise and I asked him who they were for. He said they were for me for my birthday and I ruined the surprise. I asked him why did he get me tickets for a cruise when he knows that I get seasick and also when he knows that I have been preparing for a Renfair festival for a couple of months. He said that he always liked cruises when he went on them, and he thought that I could push through it with patches or some other remedy because it was a really expensive cruise. He continued talking but tbh I spaced out because I realized just how much this man didn't care about me. He bought cruise tickets completely disregarding what I had planned how I would feel, and what I wanted to do all because he liked them. Like fuck my birthday, fuck what I want, fuck how sick I get. 
He likes cruises, so we should do that. I think he realized I wasn't speaking or excited because he asked me what was wrong, and I broke up with him. He was shocked and angry, and he asked why. This isn't the exact wording, but I said something like, it's because I have realized how much you really don't care about me, and that you're always willing to put your wants over mine every time it suits you, even on my birthday. He started to argue and wanted to talk about it, but I was just numb and went to bed on the couch. After two hours of trying to speak to me, he left me alone. I woke up the next day and got ready for work. I oddly felt fine, and he wanted to talk but I just said I'm done, and if he wanted to talk about the apartment or what we would do about the lease or anything regarding the end of the relationship, I'm okay with that. I told him I'm not changing my mind about this and for me, this relationship is done, and I just want to split amicably. While I was at work that day, I had free time and I wrote down every instance I could remember, just in the last six months of him, choosing his wants slash needs over mine. It was nearly three pages front to back, and I didn't even realize how much I let go off because he didn't want to do it. When I went home and he tried to talk again, I gave him the list and I explained what it was. He left me alone the rest of the second night. He's still not accepting the breakup. He wants to do couples therapy now or even go on a break because he realizes how much he has done but nope, I'm not doing it. I'm not trying to be mean or harsh to him but I don't want to give him false hope. I also feel weirdly okay, but also numb at the same time. What I have to deal with now is breaking the lease which he isn't willing to do because he thinks we can move past this. So I'm going to talk to the leasing office and see my options. At least I have my birthday to look forward to as I deal with a relationship ending and having to find a new place to live. Comments. ACM 915. The reason you're okay with it is because you know deep down that it's the right thing to do and the two of you are not compatible for a long-term future. Blazing Sunflowerland. When he told her, he thought she could just push through with patches it said everything she needed to know. He knew it wouldn't be good for her. She wouldn't need to push through if it was even just neutral. His words summed up his selfishness. I'm glad that Op realized this was a huge deal breaker. I like to. Good for you. The list must have been an eye opener. Max Addy. Oh, I would have loved to just hang out into Op's ex's brain as he read the list. Because I could only imagine the mental gymnastics one must do to believe Op would be willing to stay in the relationship after reading that entire list. Malafort Mento. I think it's generous to assume he read more than the first page, if he read any of it, and wasn't just responding to being told it was a list. Update 2 roughly 2.5 weeks later. So I don't even know what to say about the past two weeks since I last posted. I had hoped to do a real quick update saying I was good, out of the lease, found a place, but I can't say that. First, the leasing office offered me a way out of the place and it's really expensive. We have four months left and there is no way I could afford to break this lease find a new place, move, put down a deposit and everything else that comes along with moving. If my ex and I break the lease together it is significantly cheaper, but he has refused so I have no choice but to live with him. I have a few places in mind and am eligible so I will just deal with this for now. I moved all of my things to a storage unit and put all my important documents into a safe location elsewhere. I have to get furniture for my new place since it was his place I moved into, but other than that, I already have everything else you would need. When it comes to my ex, I don't even know how to describe what is happening. It honestly feels like these last 17 days have been happening to someone else. He won't let me out of the lease because he thinks we can fix this. First, he tried to gaslight me because he said the things on the list didn't happen. Asshole. Where do you think I got an accurate recollection of what you did and the date's text messages? When I told him that the text showed him either confirming what I said, doing the opposite, and then apologizing, his face dropped. You can lie all you want, but I literally have evidence to back up my memory. Then this brilliant idiot decided you know what, I'm going to look at the list and pick things I did wrong and do them right. So he started picking things he had done wrong and then doing it right without any input from me. You know, it's the biggest mindfuck to realize that he could have done this right from the start. None of these were mistakes. He knew exactly what he was doing, and didn't care about what I wanted or needed, if he thought his idea was better. I had people message me asking what was on the list and you know what, when I find the time, I will rewrite the whole list with screenshots. 
I will give a few examples now. One was when I asked him to pick up an orchid for me since I would be working late all week. Orchids were my grandmother's favorite flower, and she died a couple of years ago. Sometimes I really miss her so I get some of her favorite flowers and having them around really helps my mood. He decided to pick up roses and I remember seeing the roses and saying why did you get me roses when I asked for an orchid and him saying that he thought these were better and prettier. Another example was when he took my car to a different mechanic because he thought the one I had used for five years was trying to scam me when he literally was going to patch up two tires that happened to get a nail. Did he even meet my mechanic? No, he didn't. He just decided to take my car somewhere else. I took my car to my mechanic who charged me $20 to fix my two tires and he's literally my friend. The last was when I was invited to a party that had an ex-friend invited who had tried to SA another friend of mine. I told my BF you can go, but I'm not going out of solidarity with my friend if that guy is going to be there. He promised that he had heard from the planner that the guy had said no to coming. He lied and my friend and I were shocked to see the guy there. I almost lost my friendship with my friend because my ex thought that we shouldn't miss out on a party because he could prevent the guy from approaching us. My ex would do things like this all the time and each time I would be livid because he promised to do something for me and then would veto my decision to go for what he felt was best before discussing it with me. I take full responsibility for enabling this behavior, but I honestly thought at the time that I was compromising and he fully took advantage of that. At the time I thought wow, Yay, he's not doing what I wanted but he's still doing these things and it's misguided, but he's trying. I did go to my close friends and sister to vent and I would hear, oh, but at least he still got you flowers. I can't remember the last time I got roses, he was looking out for you, some mechanics are leeches, he was trying to be a protector when he lied about the party. I realize now that these responses made me feel bad and helped me accept the behavior because when I vented to my friends and sister, I got feedback that made it seem like I was ungrateful and that he was a BF who made mistakes, but at least he tried. I also didn't realize the sheer amount of bullshit I put up with. Writing it down, and seeing the list get longer and longer when you have barely scratched the surface, you're like how did I get here? How did I let so many things slide? Where the fuck did my backbone go? I will say the backbone is back and am not tolerating any of this. Anytime my ex tries to talk to me about things not regarding the lease, I tell him to push through it. Your feelings are hurt, push through it. You still love me, push through it. You're in pain, push through it. You did something nice for me, but I'm ignoring it, push through it. You paid for couples counseling, and I didn't show up, push through IT. I don't give a shit. He keeps asking why I'm fine, and honestly I think a part of me checked out a long time ago, grieved this relationship and that part was waiting for the rest of me to catch up and I have. As for my friends and family, I've told them the relationship is done and that's my decision and that it's none of their business. When a few of them tried to make me feel bad about the cruise and how they wish someone would do that for them, I told them that their husband slash boyfriend's not even doing the bare minimum for them doesn't mean that I should accept my ex's shitty behavior. I told them that maybe they should concentrate on why they're so do nothing for them instead of trying to get me to accept things I don't want or need just because my ex happened to try. Not going to lie. That response took me a couple of hours to articulate, and some of them aren't talking to me now but oh well. So, that's my life currently. I'm living in the guest room and my ex is still trying. He's very annoyed and hurt but that's not my problem. He is basically holding me hostage so I don't care about his feelings. I have made it clear we are roommates. I don't cook, clean, or do anything for him. Honestly I barely speak to him and I ignore his calls and texts when not at home. If he won't let me out of the lease, I will treat him like a stranger. I will not harm him or destroy any of his things, but I'm going to actively ignore his entire existence for the next four months. Either he deals with this or he lets me out of the lease. Other than that, I'm doing really good and working on myself and maintaining boundaries and not letting people take advantage anymore. Edit. I'm okay. I already have a camera in my room that my phone is connected to and a lock installed. The leasing office knows that I'm leaving. I have informed everyone from my school to work to close friends. I don't have family close by except for my sister who I can't live with. As for friends, I do have a few who are sane, but I'm in a degree program that I can't leave since I'm almost done, and they live too far away from me to logistically make it work. Trust me. I explored every other option I had before I landed on this.
It was literally a last resort. I'll be as careful as I can be. I don't think you will do anything to me but also, that's what a lot of people say so I have taken every precaution I can. Comments. Ruth Barb. Good for you for realizing that you've been getting bad advice from unhappy people who have set the bar so low that you're tripping on it. I love that you're living in an episode of My Name is Earl. Only difference, Earl was endearing. My beating heartbeat. Girl. I am blinded by this shiny bat bone. Go off with your bad self. Your commitment to not let him walk all over you, and to shut down those who thought they could make you feel bad about all of this. Chef's kiss but please stay vigilant. People do crazy things when they get desperate, and as you get closer to the date you'll be able to leave, he'll try anything and everything to prevent that. I hope these next few months go by really fast. Kitty Flophouse. Getting a lock for her bedroom door for one thing. If unable to install something, at least getting a door stopper for nighttime protection. Also be wary of food or drinks that he makes or offers, and keep her drinks safe. Think club slash bar safety, never unattended. Olga missed. I remember your post, because a cruise would be a punishment for me, never a gift. And him not letting you out of the lease is really just another example of his selfish, self-centered behavior. Anytime he complains to you about how he has tried to do something, too little, too late, bud, and holding me hostage in this lease, is just another example of how this whole relationship is about what you want. Good luck, and I hope he lets go before the four-month mark, stay strong and stay safe. Lala Rider. Yes. He is continuing the same pattern of not listening to her by not helping her break the lease and letting her out of the relationship. Girl, you're going to feel so free in four months. A Q. Make sure he doesn't extend the lease behind your back up. I'm so worried for you. Can't your family help you financially to break the lease and be free of this monster? He's not gonna let you go up, and I don't think you see how dangerous this behavior is. Togger sucks. I'm wondering if the cruise happens before the lease ends. That could be a huge trigger for him. If she isn't out by then she needs to make herself scarce. And when she does have a new safe place locked in, do not tell him. Just let him come home to you completely gone. Moonbeam dreams. Look at that. He's not changed one bit. She says she's done, it's over, she doesn't want to be with him anymore and he just decides that he knows better than she does and just ignores what she said, what she wants, what she needs, just like he always has. I don't think he realizes she's a real person and not an NPC. Guilty Web 7334. You mean she keeps existing when he leaves the room? Stunned. Compulsive gremlin. This is not over. That is not a guy who takes the answer no. Terpsichorean wombat. Yeah. He pretty much doesn't understand the difference between what he wants and what people should do, and be happy doing. Road No 9352. That is what I am afraid of. What can I say, I don't have a good opinion of people in general. This douchecano, it is hard to say what he might be capable of. He seems to be living in his own reality, and doesn't want to, or can't, accept that it is over. How far is he going to go, how malicious, as the final day approaches? On the positive side, OOP was smart enough to move stuff out, so he can't fuck up her stuff. Getting the camera and lock was a good idea too. Fingers crossed all goes well. Reasonable purple. I'm suddenly very, very grateful for being single, what in the flying fuck is this bullshit, but I totally understand why she accepted this for so long. She was complaining about stepping in a pile of shit and all of her friends, you know what, you should be grateful for not being buried in shit like me. Fire ebony ashes. Far. Same thing happened with me with my ex. I would vent to people I thought were my friends, and they would defend him, and make it seem the things he did, were not that bad or make excuses to the point I internally started making excuses for him. It got to the point where I emotionally shut down. When you're surrounded by the wrong people who invalidate your experience it gets to you. Moment I dumped him those friends disappeared. I don't miss a single one of them. Fallen hawker. Up. I'm so proud of you, and feel sad for your friends and family in shitty relationships. Don't let them drag you down, especially now that he's shown you he could have done it all along. Like the flower thing is so easy to get right, but I could look past it one time, but how the fuck can they excuse him putting your friend in front of her abuser because he wanted to party? Such scummy behavior. 
Go outside 62. You have your head screwed on straight, way to go. Very, very impressed. Do you have a friend you could stay with for the next few so you don't have to deal with him?